in Judah, uh, the southern part of the uh, Israelite empire, they, there's this shrine called Tel Arad. Recently, it was discovered that these stains on these two pillars, one of them's frankincense and one of them's cannabis, and everyone got really excited. Like, oh, there's cannabis in Bible. Yeah, no shit. But what's really interesting is a mixture of like, cannabis and frankincense. There were two altars and there were two uh, stones, painted stones, at the back of this uh, temple. And it seems that back in the day, Yahweh had a wife. Because about 15 kilometers from Tel Arad, there's another temple which has an inscription which says, to Yahweh and his wife. It looks like um, Yahweh lost his wife, you know, just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Cannabis increases the amount of dopamine squirting out of the end of the neuron. Frankincense inhibits the enzyme which reabsorbs that dopamine on the other side. So basically what it means is the synapse has extra dopamine going in and less dopamine coming out. So it massively, kind of double whammy of increased dopamine. Dopamine is connected to word production and a novel idea is that people would sit in a massive cloud of, of cannabis and frankincense. It was called the dabir, right? That comes from the word davar, dabar, which means word or sentence or paragraph or something like that. So this is all about word production and it's right in there in the word. And what did they do there? They went in there, they talked to angels. This was for divination. So people would say, what do I do about my problem? A uh, priest goes into his smoke bath, comes out and says, that's what you've done. <laughs>